How are we doing YouTube? This is Trinity God Saint here, aka Joshua Williams. I wanted to talk to you guys today about something extremely important. Very recently, I received a, an epiphany from Christ. It uh, concerned my, uh, my rapture dream that I had uh, some time ago. And I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about why it was so important and the implications for the future that it might have for you guys and for me. All right, so some time ago, I posted on my channel about a dream that I had about me being left behind. I remember talking about the state of affairs after the rapture occurred when people like, would whisk away, their clothes were left behind, need to be folded. All right, the scene of the dream was I was praying on a in the, on the benches of my of a childhood church and when these people were whisked away when the rapture occurred and I knew the rapture occurred there was no question I knew they were gone in the rapture but immediately when that occurred madness reigned it was crazy I saw vehicles crashing into homes there was a general sense of madness and violence that was just all about the place. It was just crazy. Buses that were they were there. Now buses don't normally come down that street. So and it was like huge, these long like almost like greyhound buses. And uh there and, and the seat and the seats that were like piles of clothes. And uh and there were people without the and they were looking terrified, freaked out and stuff like that, people who were there in in the bus. And and ultimately, I went outside, and people started going crazy, like, like cars were like spinning out, as if, as if like saying whatever, who cares? Let's, let's let's do it. They were spinning out on the street and like going off on the side of the road. People were like, like speeding up, like in this like this, along the small tiny road, the road that you would normally go maybe like 25 or 20. They were going like they was going super fast. They were like crashing into things around me, and uh, and I was like, "Man, it's kind of it's dangerous out here. I can't, I can't stay out here. Like outside the church, whatnot." But I didn't want to go back inside for some reason. And uh, I, st I started walking across. I believe I started walking across the the, the, uh, the tops of the cars. All right, this is part two, and I need to be quick because the camera's dying. Uh, I'm not doing the things I should be, and I, as soon as I had that dream, I got down on my face and I asked God forgiveness, for, for forgiveness. From this day on, I'm going to do my best to turn. I know I'm not going to stop sinning, but I know for sure that I'm going to do my best to turn from it and to allow God to actually change me from the person that I was to the person I will be. This is a warning, guys. We see it all over the news. You can look at YouTube. You can look whatever you want to see. This world is falling apart around us. It's unraveling from ISIS, ISIL, crazy people doing all types of crazy stuff. These are warnings. Whether you believe in a, a crazy, uh, whether you believe in people meeting in secret uh, uh, societies and stuff or whatever, it doesn't matter. This world is ending and God is showing this, this to us. You have to get right with him. You have to get right. And don't don't think it's just, well, if you, even if you think it's just some crazy people, just whatever, like Christian fundamentalists like, just doing crazy stuff, whatever, or thinking like the world's going to end, like it always says it is. The Bible has a scripture that talks about that. They said, they, 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 they kind of scoffed and was like, well, the world, uh, I mean, you guys have been saying this for like, for the longest, and uh, when is it ending? It's not ending, it's, it's still going on. I'm going to go ahead and put the scripture in. But guys, do not let that be it. Many, so many people are going to be uh, left behind or people are going to not going to going to be destroyed because of their, their egos not wanting to change or stuff like that. Do not let that be you. It's happening, guys. You know, and there's many rapture uh, visions and dreams that, that's been going on. It's not, this is, it's not fake. This is happening. Today, right now, I don't even know. I don't even know how. I guess it's the mercy of God that He hasn't come yet. But yes. 
Now, I watched a video today. Excuse me. It wasn't today. It was, uh, this was, I uh, wrote down something to uh, help me remember. So this was the time I wrote it down, but it was actually on the 14th of 2000, uh, 2008, January. And uh, I watched a video today talking about the true purpose of CERN and how they're looking for the other half of the Higgs field. And uh, this insider explained some uh, interesting things. And uh, he actually explained like some of the stuff that the Bible already actually tells us about ourselves all right he uh explained that we have duality within ourselves there's this field this light field and there's a dark signature dark matter signature it's relating to dark energy and light energy now i know this sounds kind of new age e but please bear with me there's some truth to it all right so the bible talks about put yourself or put Put your love of things, uh, put your love in the things of God or in Christ and to have faith and to believe on him, to, to, to heal, to do pretty much everything in your life. There is a reason for it because it has some visible uh, consequences in the mortal or the normal realm. Absolutely berserk. They also know how much uh, of that energy signature a person must have before an entity from that realm can possess them, which also allowed them to understand that not everybody can be possessed. Not everybody can be, but they're, they're, the, the person has to be prepared to be possessed. They have to be, in, in essence, they have to be a portal themselves to be possessed. Not everybody can be possessed. And so, not, not to get way off target, but this dark matter is everywhere. That is, that you know what, all these things, here's what, I mean, it really, it really gets to me, is that these scientists over the course of many years have quantified or they have calculated these things. They have extracted the truth, the facts, yet the Christians don't believe it. And these crooked people in certain places have already been harnessing this power for themselves, and it's been effective every single step of the way. In the scientific community, they see the facts. They know they don't understand it fully. And so they have experiments and they learn along the way. In fact, they're obedient to their own disciplines and we're not obedient to our own disciplines. So the problems about CERN, I know everybody's waiting on this. What could potentially happen from this? Well, they had another discovery that dark matter causes other pieces of dark matter that they have contained to, to react. In other words, if you have a container, say you had a, a, a teaspoon of dark matter, and, and let's just say you had it in Pennsylvania, and somebody else had that same uh, a teaspoon of dark matter in California, then as soon as the teaspoon of dark matter is exposed to the elements in Pennsylvania, it causes the dark matter in California to begin to activate. In other words, you lose containment in one place, containment in another place is going to be lost. It's going to be lost. So they're intimately tied together. Now we've covered the fact that people have the signatures of the energy of dark matter in them and matter. So they contain both matter and antimatter in a sense, the signature of energy. They're not put together. It's just that signature. And we draw upon those based upon our thoughts and what's in our minds and what's in our hearts, in a sense. With CERN, as they begin to collide these protons, dark matter is going to be produced in great numbers. I mean, in greater and greater numbers. Not only the matter, but the energy signature is going to also be released into this realm. You know what that's going to cause? It's going to cause the dark energy signature within people to begin to activate more and more. You see, it's going to become difficult for people to stay contained or controlled. In essence, they're going to become violent. They're going to become, they're going to have vivid dreams. The darkness within a person is absolutely going to begin to surface. 
And it's, this is not uh, theoretical. This is not uh, uh, some theory somebody thought of. This is absolutely 100% quantifiable, and it's happened before. It's going to happen in greater numbers this time. It's going to, it will take effect. That's also been weaponized. Nobody knows this, and I, I probably won't be in trouble for this, but they have a weapon concerning dark matter that they can put within a country or a specific place to cause chaos. It's a weapon. They've used it before. They can unleash this, and it can cause chaos anywhere they want chaos to be rampant. Also, there's something very important about that. There, I know this firsthand. There are often times you have to partake in the weapons development program, and you become a, a rat, so to speak, in a maze to see firsthand what the effects are going to be. They found the force that holds the dark energy or the dark matter away from this realm. They call it the wall. There's another name for that. A name of which that, that those particles that are going to As you saw, this is a uh, that that was the uh, CERN insider. He kind of explains it a little a lot better than I could. All right. So now my dream, uh, like I said, there was people like it was craziness, and of course there was this that weird dog that jumped up after me after I ran up a tree. I remember the fear. It was like palpable. It was craziness. And I'll, I'll go ahead and post uh, the contents or some of the contents of the uh, that dream right here. All right. In summation, you guys heard what the guy said. You guys uh, heard about my dream. And to put it all together, you already know that we have a duality within ourselves that we can choose uh, right or we can choose wrong. Now, he explained, I don't know if he, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to put the whole, obviously I can't put the whole video up. I want you guys to check out that full video. It's so important because I'm not even giving you like 10% of it here. I'm just giving what, what how it relates to my dream. Watch the whole video. It's like 28 minutes, something like that very short time it is worth your time and then choose what you want to believe after that all right all right so we have a duality within ourselves firstly we are born in sin the bible talks about this and thus we have a dark matter signature all right sin can be considered synonymous with dark matter or its signature secondly we have the breath of god or a conscious conscience that is evidence of the God writing his commandments on our hearts. So we have no excuse. The commandments are written on our hearts. All right. This, this conscience or this light energy can be considered uh, synonymous with goodness, faith, or righteousness in Christ. Interesting thing about the, look up the placebo and nocebo effect. The placebo effect is a real phenomenon that allows us through, through, pure belief, pure, pure faith to uh, affect ourselves in the physical realm. So it is a real phenomenon. So guys, think about that. And it has, has something to do with uh, this fundamental energy or particle that CERN is looking up, that CERN is trying to find out. This is the, uh, the source that holds all of creation together, everything together. This is what divides the seen from the unseen and holds everything together because we know they're intimately, uh, intimately uh, connected, antimatter and normal matter. And if you look at some uh, like what the recent information about uh, origin, ultimate origin, they talk about how there should be far more uh, antimatter. There's like virtually no antimatter in our universe. And of course, if it was that it would explode, it should be equal half and half. But that if that was the case then it would annihilate everything so it'd be sitting be nothing left but you can look that up on your own it's easy to find any type of uh, scientific publication if you just look it up on the internet you can find it so we you've heard about alternate dimensions a different different dimensions that's what CERN is uh, looking for they're looking for the ability to reach into an alternate dimension and, and pick out antimatter which has 
all type of applications and to uh, do some type of resource mining from a different from a different dimensions. Now, D waves or D wave technology is uh, all concerned with quantum computing. They want to reach into different alternate dimensions to pull out like the processing power of that to use it in everything every day from everyday life pretty much to for the ability to predict human movements and stuff like that or to to compute in insanely large numbers like 10 to the 500th uh, power or stuff like that it's craziness all right now we know that dark matter is closely related to the production of antimatter that's pretty much what we're pulling out that source of energy either they are one and the same or they're so closely related they're as, as to be indistinguishable from one another it is also negative or sin or evil energy if you prefer you can call it destructive energy or chaos this is that this is the the world that they're digging into this is the alternate dimension they're digging into a, a dimension that is full full of this chaotic energy it was explained that antimatter is the most volatile form of matter so he he provides all types of uh, imagery in the in the video so I would like I said watch that video it's very interesting all right so we know that light energy is closely related to the veil or light energy is closely related to the veil or wall that is the fundamental bonding force in all of creation oh I mean you can guess what the source of that uh, veil or wall is it's Christ because he holds together all of creation pretty much and if if there's anything that might be getting wrong please put it in the comments below so that I can learn from it we can learn from it and all that good stuff please but Jesus Christ or God the Bible he the the certain insider explains the connection to Christ light energy and dark matter and its effect on a negative and evil emotions in our hearts so please look that up all right so what I say all of that to say this here certain scientists have the ability to, uh, the ability to manip manipulate the violent nature of every living thing not just humans every living thing they might be able to manipulate our timeline resulting in Mandela effect I take that with a grain of sand I don't think anyone has the ability to manipulate time unless except for Christ or God there's no way I'm, that's that's my personal belief if you have a uh, something else you can talk to me in the comments all right and the only way to combat this inf this uh, this manipulation is to believe in Jesus Christ the insider provides a testimony concerning that so look it up all right so let's get to the to the ultimate point of why, why I'm making this video I'm making this video because I believe that Christ sent me that dream of being left behind and and seeing those people people in that animal the dog that chased me up the tree acting crazy I chalked it up to the Holy Ghost or the restrainer leaving and taking with him all goodness and restraint within living beings however it's more sinister than that they have a way to agitate all that evil that vile and disgusting impulses and the only way we have to combat this is to believe in Jesus Christ so they have the technology and, a, and the guy explains this to to agitate this to make you angry mad like pretty much like the zombie effect so they have that technology so it's terrifying and that's pretty much that's and that's like a byproduct of what they're of their resource or the energy mining that they're doing at CERN and some of the stuff they're doing they're doing with D-Wave so it's, it's it wasn't in and the product of that also another after uh, another effect of the their, their mining into this alternate dimension is demonic demonic entities I think some some refer to them as uh, alien alien gods or whatever but demonic entities are coming coming or are being drawn by them pulling that antimatter from from that dimension to this one that volatile volatile dark energy so it, it pulls them and he, he says it so much better than me, but it's connected, like on a quantum level. You, if you heard of quantum quantum entanglement, you understand what I'm saying, how uh, connection with electrons, with other electrons throughout the universe. So this uh, this dark matter or dark energy is connected on that quant quantum level. So if one portion, let's say if 
if one uh, portion of the uh, this dark energy is destabilized or agitated or messed up, it'll that's how it will affect every every living thing because all of us have a minute uh, representation of minute signatures, not to the same extent that they might be producing in CERN, but it's there, it's readable and all that good stuff like that. You can you can sense it, well not sense it, but you can read it and all that. So that's how they'll be able to uh, agitate that dark energy. So keep that in mind. Also had a revelation that hit me at 12.45 today, 1-15-2018. All right, and some of my brothers and sisters, uh, fellow brothers and sisters in Christ already understand this. Some might disagree and some might agree. All right. Christ said they had to leave after his resurrection so that the comforter would come. Now, I, I brought that up because I have this question. Does that mean that the comforter slash restrainer slash the Holy Ghost has to leave so that Christ can come? All right. I do understand that God reveals to those who seek them, seek him, seek him and read his Bible. And all the answers, we know that all the answers are right there. It's just waiting to be revealed by God by touching the hearts and minds of the people. But they're all there. So I'm including this because there are some Christians who don't believe in a rapture or believe it might be post wrath. So take that in consideration. I propose that Christ will not come back until the Holy Ghost is taken away. Now, if you have a, a ref refutation to this, please post in the comments. I'll read it and I'll, I'll, I'll read the Bible and I'll... Uh, Put it, bring it all together and hopefully God will convict me and it will, it will be explained completely and if, if I'm wrong then I'm wrong and, and it will, my mind will be changed because God is good and he knows alright so in the King James Version says nevertheless I will tell you the truth is John chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless I will tell you the truth it is expedient for you that I go away for if I go not away the comforter will not come to you but if I depart I will send him unto you all right so Jesus was saying I can't like I have to go so that so the Holy Ghost can come down to you all right so all right this other verse that kind of synced it for me is and now you know that know what is holding him back aka the restrainer so that he may be revealed at the proper time the King James Version says and now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed at the same time uh, revealed at in, in his time all right so this is pretty much explaining that that there is a restrainer that's holding back the antichrist from um, from from working whatever plan he has so keep that in consideration i believe that it is the holy ghost but some others believe it might be the Archangel Michael, something, maybe maybe others believe something else. Now, I will post a website that have an opposing view, some, the, the website that I believe is Michael, and I believe that is the Holy Ghost. I'll, I'll post that so you can read it for yourself. All right. And I'll provide the links for the my video and the original video for the CERN Insider. All right, guys. This is extremely important. This is just confirmation for my dream. I already knew it was from God because of the urgency that he put in me when I had to share it. I wrote it down and I had to um, convey it to whoever might be listening in the video. This, uh, my, whoever might listen that on it from that video. Excuse me. So I thank you for listening. I uh, hope you guys take care. And uh, please, please, please keep watching. The Lord does not want us ignorant to the seasons. He's showing us. It's so obvious. So if you're not a Christian, please believe and believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Ask him for forgiveness for your sins. And, and from that moment on, believe and know that you are saved because of your belief in Jesus Christ. He is the only way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. So that's the only way that we'll be accounted, that we can, that we'll be able to escape these things. And not only that. Make sure you pray, get on your knees, get on your face, no matter how long it takes, and ask for the Holy Ghost. And he will be sent to you if you ask him with a pure heart, with everything you have. And don't forget to get baptized and all that good stuff. All right.